Hello, welcome to Lego Town 5000. I have not posted a video in a while, and so I decided to post a video about a mock that I've made that I oh, I really enjoy these. So this uh, tutorial is going about how to make these small little arcade uh, machines. So we got one in green and one in this orange gray combination, and. There, there is a small difference between them is the sidebar so for this one the sidebar is like it, it does not expand that way but for this one we this bar does expand that way so uh again if you want to make this one you just have to take away that sidebar and add a two by three right uh yeah two by three tile i mean uh plate sorry but i'll tell you later how to do that but uh, these are really neat, and I've been able to incorporate them into my custom Lego city, which is this. I'm sorry, it's really hard to show on camera. It's just a confined space that I have here. But this is the Golden Star Arcade, which is a corner build. So inside we have a small arcade. And so I've used two of the arcade machines, and so uh, that I'm going to show you here today: the yellow and the. Uh, white one, the yellow one I thought it would be more Pac-Man related, and the white one I thought it would be more space uh, related, so this guy clearly here is not feeling happy because there's a black screen which means that the game crashed because he was just about to beat the record on it, and this guy, you know, he's just normally playing, and then here we got like one of those Just Dance machines, which if you want a tutorial on that, um, if we can get one like on this video, just one. I will show you how to make that. Why so, one? You know, I'm starting off small. So, yeah, get this off camera. It's taking up a little too much space. Okay, so let's get right into the tutorial about how to make these. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to tell you how to build, or the, the build that we're going to start off with, is what I call the center console. So this is essentially uh, what you will need to build this is um, a 2x4 brick and then a 2x4 plate but I sadly do not have a 2x4 plate um, in orange that I could use currently so I am substituting it with a 1x2 and a 2x3 orange plate so I'm going to stack them on just like that the next thing you want to do is add a 2x4 plate in the next color that you want, which is, for me, gray. Now what we're going to add is the controls next, so you need these pieces. Um, a 1x2 with a sort of 2x2 two two sort of sti side stud thing going on here uh, in your first color. You're gonna need one of these sort of joystick pieces, as I call it, which is basically what inspired me to build this was this piece. A button, which could be of any color. A gray reject coin button. I'm just gonna call these buttons because that's the only role that they play in this build. Oh, technical difficulties. So I retrieved the piece. So what we're going to need to do is next, just taking all the pieces out of my hands because I have a lot. So the one by two grill tile and this piece. So this is from a Lego lever. So what you're gonna have to do is take out that black piece, uh, the black lever piece, and then you're gonna get this, uh, which you're gonna line it up and then Bam, it looks like a coin slot. So you can now combine these two together. And you now have your uh, part of your console ready. You're gonna wanna take two one by one bricks with a stud on the side and attach it with just a jumper plate or a one by two plate of any kind um, onto it. Then it doesn't matter what color it is because you're probably not going to show because it's going to be against a wall just like so. Goodness, I'm not feeling good, I'm sorry. Um, just a little sick. So, uh, 
probably a cold, but doesn't matter. We got, uh, we're gonna need two jumper plates, and this time it's specific. We need jumper plates of your primary or secondary color. And you're gonna attach it just like so. Next two pieces that you're gonna, well, sort of three, but I'm just gonna count it as two, is this hinge piece. I call it the computer hinge piece and a, a two by three in sort of whatever color you want uh, doesn't really matter I usually just go white because it usually symbolizes when something is on so now that your screen is assembled what you're going to need to do is make this contraption which is one by two brick on top of uh, one by two brick on top of one by two brick with a two by two pl uh, Play capping it all off, and then you can play around with your screen. So we're sort of done with what I call the center console. Now we're moving on to the sides. So I am going to tell you only how to make one side, and then you're going to mirror the image on the other side. And it's very, very simple. Only four. Oh, uh, you can use four. I used five pieces to make this, um, but it's it's a pretty easy build. Um, one by six tile, I mean plate. Two by six plate, or two two by three plates. Sort of this angled two by four by one piece, and then a two by three piece. And so, if you wanted it to make it like the previous one, where it's like doesn't have this extension. You're going to take this and substitute it, take the 2x3 that we were just adding on and substitute it with a 2x2 two two plate. And so now when you have two of these sides made, um, you're going to attach them onto that side, um, side little uh, stud there that's facing out. Um, so you want it to sort of be attached just like that. And there you go, you have just successfully built your arcade machine, if your machine looks like mine. If your machine does not look like mine, go ahead and uh, rewind and see what you did not do right. It's okay, we always learn from mistakes. So, thank you for watching this video. Um, again, if we get one like on this video, I'm going to teach you how to make that Just Dance machine. Um, and then, yeah, stay tuned for more tutorials and more videos. Thank you very much. This has been Megadan5000. Bye.